I'm Mallory Factor, born and raised in New York City. I uh, work in influencer marketing sales. So it's really interesting. You would think that because people are, are unable to go to stores or, or actually really amazingly like brands are unable to create content that's, you know, able to be distributed across their own networks and, and create advertising that's really targeted, that influencers would become more important because, you know, everyone's home, everyone's on social media, and these are people who create content for a living. Um, but weirdly, actually, there's been a pretty big dip in influencer marketing as well. And I think the reason is brands are more weary than ever about diving into such a new and sort of like untested advertising platform or advertising like, like strategy. Influencer marketing is kind of complex. It's, it's not as simple as like simple digital ads where you can see how many people clicked, how many people, you know, scrolled over it, how long their cursor was hanging over the ad. Um, with influencer marketing, you have to trust that whatever the influencer is saying is going to somehow lead to someone looking deeper. You know, I mean, obviously you have the ability to swipe up on Instagram stories, for example, but um, it's, it's always sort of like a twofold thing. It's branding and it's, it's direct sales. So. Uh, it's just been interesting because influencer marketing has been slower than you might think, but definitely I think uh, there's going to be a massive surge in it soon because everyone's been on social media so much that when when brands finally kind of release their budgets and, and go for something a little bit different, uh, there will be just as much engagement as there was before on social media.